Prince Harry and Meghan Markle are reportedly loath to cancel their $112 million deal with Netflix despite recent reports that the fifth season of The Crown will not respectfully portray the final years of Princess Diana's life. The couple signed the deal with the streaming giant last September and are expected to produce a number of films and documentaries over the next few years. A royal expert said it would be hard for the Duke of Sussex to extract himself from the partnership which funds the couple's expensive lifestyle. Royal correspondent Rupert Bell told Talcradio, H has got a pound $112 million deal with Netflix and I imagine it's quite hard for him to extract himself from it. His feeling is probably to stay quiet because hopefully, it might go away. Clearly, I haven't seen this episode of The Crown and the way they are treating Diana in the new series. This was always going to be the problem for the crown when it got nearer to home. It is difficult but he has now sold himself to the devil Netflix for $112 million and HES got an expensive lifestyle. HES also got to produce some goods in terms of the content but it isnt rushing out at the moment. So HES in a very difficult position and presumably, they are loath to get rid of that deal. Meghan and Harry announced the deal with Netflix shortly after relocating to California and have established their own production company within their organization Archwell. Speaking of their decision to form a partnership with the streaming giant, the prince told Oprah Winfrey that it was motivated by financial necessity after they were cut off from the royal family. Over the weekend, it was revealed that Jemima Khan, a former close friend of Diana's, has left her advisory position on the crown after becoming increasingly uncomfortable with the way the princess storylines were being handled. She told the Sunday Times that creator Peter Morgan had asked her to help assist with Diana's final episodes, which she agreed to do despite never publicly speaking about her friend's death before. She continued, when our co-writing agreement was not honored, and when I realized that particular storyline would not necessarily be told as respectfully or compassionately as I had hoped, I requested that all my contributions be removed from the series and I declined a credit.